Financing the American Dream. Home ownership is the traditional starting point for many families to accumulate wealth. But before you start shopping for a home, it's prudent to take some time to get your finances in order. Here are some steps to take before you start shopping for your home. They will help you prepare for the financial part of home ownership. Decide how much home you can afford. Generally, you can afford a home equal in value between two and three times your gross income. But your income is not the only deciding factor in determining how much home you could afford. There are several factors that are significant to a lender when applying for a mortgage. They include your employment history, how much of a down payment you plan to make, your gross income versus your debts, and your credit history. Your lender takes all of these factors into account before making their decision. Determine how large a mortgage you can qualify for by getting a pre-approval letter from a lender before you start shopping. A realtor can explain the various forms of financing available and they can also refer you to a local bank or mortgage broker to obtain a pre-approval letter. A pre-approval letter means that the lender has actually evaluated your personal finances and has determined how much you can borrow. But remember, the letter simply means you pass their criteria to qualify for a loan for a certain amount, but loan approval doesn't happen until you actually purchase a home and the lender can process all the final pieces necessary to approve the loan and close on the home. Note, the difference between a pre-approval and a pre-qualification is that a pre-qualification is not verified information. It's a qualification based on information that the buyer has submitted, not information that has been personally evaluated by a lender. Make sure that you have enough saved and liquid assets that are easily accessible to cover your down payment and closing costs. Closing costs, which include real estate tax adjustments, attorney's fees and transfer fees, can average between 3-5% to of the home price. However, sometimes buyers find it difficult to save enough cash to buy a home, or so they think. Consider this. There are financing options and many strategies to minimize the cash you need to buy a home. For example, it is sometimes possible to include your closing costs into your mortgage financing. Talk to your realtor and your lender to see what options are available and determine what financing best suits your situation. One of the most important steps to take before shopping for a home is to make sure your credit is in order. This should be done before, not during the process of applying for a loan. This is the time to pay down any credit cards and it's also prudent not to apply for any new credit before starting the loan process. Credit reports include information on your payment history, how much you owe, the length of your credit history, how much new credit you have, and the types of credit you use. With so many pieces of information being reported, you can see how easy it is to have a mistake on your report that can go unnoticed and unaddressed. This is why it is so important to obtain a copy of your credit report before you apply for a loan. Now that you've gotten your finances in order, found the house of your dreams, and are ready to make the purchase, you're ready to apply for a mortgage. Now is the time to get organized and gather all the documentation a lender will need for the loan. You'll most likely need documents such as pay stubs, bank statements, tax returns, and revolving charges and other loan information. Once you have gotten your financial documents together, make a master documents list so you know at a glance what you have readily available to give to your lender. Then put the documents in a folder to keep this important information organized and easily accessible. 